On May 8, 2011, a 14-year-old Canadian named Sam decided to create his YouTube channel. The teenager was bored and had nothing to do, so he made this choice to keep himself occupied. Sam named it Exploding TNT, and little did he know he would become one of Minecraft's greatest legends in only a few short years. The young YouTuber uploaded his first video to the platform two weeks after the channel's creation. It was titled Massive TNT Explosion TNT vs Creeper. Here he showed the TNT trap he built. Inside was a defenseless creeper that he killed once he lit one of the TNT blocks causing the trap to explode. After it blew up, Sam displayed the destruction it caused. This video started a trend on his channel where most uploads featured an explosion, some of which were made by fans. He blew up Herobrine, Notch, Tobuscus, Justin Bieber, and more. Oh, and land. Lots of land. But this was exploding TNT's only gimmick at the time, and while it was enjoyable for those watching back then, he eventually had to experiment with his content to avoid getting stale. He could only detonate so many things differently before the well ran dry and viewers lost interest. Plus, he wanted to avoid repeatedly making the same content on his main channel. Instead, he created a second channel, the TNT Exploders, where he exclusively posted explosion videos. However, the first time Exploding TNT tried something entirely new was when he began his prank craft series on November 12, 2011. In the introductory episode, he pranked three players by inviting them into a secluded room where the walls would crush them once they pressed the button inside, resulting in their deaths. TNT asked the audience if he should continue this series at the end of the video, and the answer was a unanimous yes. Viewers loved this content as it was hilarious and a breath of fresh air. Each video followed the same format with a different prank, but all good things must come to an end. Unfortunately, prank craft didn't last very long, as TNT only made two more episodes and then abandoned the series. However, he made something unlike his previous content around this time, and these videos would forever change the exploding TNT channel. The reason you know and love TNT is most likely thanks to this content, his legendary machinimas. Over time, these videos drastically evolved and became some of the Minecraft community's most treasured gems. But you may not know that they started as simple list videos on December 11th, 2011 with five ways to make someone rage quit, which marked the beginning of what many consider the golden age in exploding TNT's history. TNT continued to make more given how well received this first video was and they soon became a staple on his channel. He uploaded over a dozen of these with nine months and they were all incredibly popular with hundreds of thousands or millions of views per video. This rapid growth allowed TNT to reach 50,000 subscribers six months later in June 2012. During this period, he also posted other content like interactive Minecraft videos, trolling guides, and the short-lived That Annoying Troll series. But at this point, he hadn't uploaded one of his most iconic videos of all time. Why here Brian was removed. I bet the title alone gave you goosebumps, but some or most of you may recall watching this masterpiece over a decade ago. I know I sure do when revisiting it all these years later is a surreal feeling. However, this video signaled the start of another stage in TNT's YouTube journey, as this was one of his first cinematic machinimas that defined the style of content he became known for creating. Seeing how successful the video was, TNT began making more Herobrine skits while continuing to post other content his fans enjoyed, and only a few uploads later, he was celebrating the highly anticipated 100,000 subscriber milestone three months after he hit 50,000. In 2012, an achievement like this was a huge deal, as most of the notable Minecraft YouTubers we know nowadays weren't very popular. For comparison's sake, one of the biggest creators at the time was Captain Sparkles, and he was nearing 1,700,000 subscribers. Other YouTubers like DanTDM, Stampy, and Popular MMOs only had a few hundred or thousand. While it's still a significant subscriber gap, in the grand scheme, TNT wasn't extremely far behind Captain Sparkles and was well ahead of three of the most well-known Minecrafters. Eleven years later, Dream took the lead in subscribers, and the sub count difference between him and TNT is in the tens of millions. That alone should prove how famous exploding TNT was becoming, and his popularity would only skyrocket from there. The Herobrine content was doing wonders for him and the character became integral to his channel's initial success. TNT 
Monty made several of these in a row, and while they were doing very well, he didn't want to turn into the Herobrine Machinima Maker. Of course, he had other characters in his videos at this time, like Notch and the Troll, but they weren't nearly as popular as Herobrine. So, he switched things up again before getting locked into solely making these kinds of videos. This time, he decided to make skits about any topic while still including his beloved characters in the content. It was the best of both worlds. From this point onward, the possibilities were endless and TNT was about to take his content to the next level. The subjects varied heavily from YouTubers, trolling, and even politics. Nothing was off limits. By doing this, TNT made it difficult for the audience to get bored of his videos, and the best part about it was that they were involved in creating this content. Every video he made came from suggestions in his comments, and he always featured the commenter who gave him the idea at the end of the video. However, these videos generally followed a pattern where the characters acted out funny hypothetical if how or why situations. With enough in a few short months, TNT found great success with his formats, more than ever before. But as 2012 was wrapping up, TNT had an exciting announcement. On December 29th, he uploaded a video promoting his new Minecraft minigame server, MC Origins. It was owned by him and his friend Gameplayer HD, who frequently acted in his videos. You could play survival games, paintball, spleef, parkour, mob arena, time bomb, and PvP arena at launch. But the owners had plans to add more game modes over time. TNT had made servers before, but nothing as ambitious as MC Origins, and fans immediately adored it. In fact, this server is the reason Hypixel exists. You see, Simon or Hypixel was one of TNT's earliest fans, and was inspired by the creation of MC Origins to make his own Minecraft server. MC Origins gave me the motivation to create the Hypixel server. I remember visiting when they had their holidays and Christmas themed lobby. Players were excited to just hang out out and chat. My favorite Minecraft memory still to this day. Nonetheless, throughout the years, TNT made multiple videos on MC Origins and the server received updates to maintain a consistent player base. But running it wasn't without problems, which we'll discuss later. But back to TNT's channel. By the summer of 2013, he hit 500,000 subscribers and posted a heartwarming video in which he thanked his fans for their support. It included a nostalgia compilation of some of his most memorable videos to date and he also asked viewers to leave comments sharing why they subscribed to his channel. There was one that stood out that I'd like to share. I first started watching you when I had my appendix out. You made me laugh when I was in so much pain. Laughing hurt too, so I never did it until I started watching you and I couldn't stop myself. I subscribed immediately after one video. You basically saved my life, TNT, and I cannot thank you enough. I think everyone can relate to this comment, except for the appendix part, maybe not that. Regardless, these skits formed a large portion of the content on TNT's channel and were enjoyed by millions worldwide. Like the previous year, TNT and Gameplayer HD created another unrelated minigame server at the end of 2013. They called it the Nova and the server launched with Hunger Games, Sky Wars, and Parkour. Of the two, the Nova was the less popular server, yet fans still enjoyed it and they eventually added new game modes to keep things fresh. Nevertheless, by the spring of 2014, TNT reached one million subscribers. At this point, his machinimas were in their prime. The editing was better than ever, the videos were more unique, funnier, and featured voice acting. Shout out to the talented ARG for making our childhoods. He's a legend. On some occasions, TNT even collaborated with other Minecraft YouTubers like Deadlocks, Munching Brotato, and Jerome ASF as they voice acted for some of his skits. He also introduced new characters into the videos like Justin Bieber, Jeb, and Herobrine's mom. Fans loved the the content and it seemed it would only continue improving. Around this time, a subscriber named Cyberderp came up with a genius idea. You should make a video of the dumbest ideas you've gotten for videos in little shorts. This comment led to the birth of the weird comment series, where TNT could use multiple ideas that weren't good enough for an individual video in these episodes. This series became one of the most beloved on TNT's channel and it was all thanks to the man, the myth, the legend, Cyberderp. However, despite these improvements, TNT had one concern. He worried his content would get boring if everything stayed the same for a long time. Videos had to change before they got too repetitive. He needed to spice things up, and this was when he added what would become the audience's favorite character, the one, the only, Pink 
sheep. In the deleted video titled If Herobrine Took a Shower, the woolly mammal made his very brief debut where he told Herobrine Hey dude, your penis is fascinating as he stared at him naked in the shower. Yes, that's real, and I'm guessing that's why TNT eventually took this video down. However, his second noteworthy appearance was where he got his time to shine. On May 21st, 2014, TNT uploaded a skit titled Herobrine vs. Pink Sheep in which fans heard the animal's strange text-to-speech voice and got a proper look at his appearance for the first time. They also saw the sheep's oddly flirty behavior towards Herobrine, and the mob was thirsting for him, even stating that he wanted him in his bedroom. Herobrine, Herobrine, you were right. I am not someone who loves you, I'm just a cop. Because I'm a cop, you're coming with me now because I'm arresting you right now. I'm taking you straight into my bedroom, Herobrine. Pretty sexy if you ask me. Despite this weird sexual attitude, this video was enough to convince viewers that they wanted to see more of Pink Sheep. Throughout the years, TNT began regularly including the character in his content. The mammal's voice, looks, and personality slowly but surely evolved during this time, and eventually he became an essential part of exploding TNT's career. Pink Sheep was irreplaceable and probably the most important character that TNT ever created. Without him, TNT would have likely never made it to where he is today, and above all else, the videos wouldn't have been as entertaining as they were. But all in all, 2014 was a hell of a year for TNT with several notable accomplishments. For starters, certified hood classics like If Lava and Water Switch Places, If Diamonds and Dirt Switch Places, and If You Couldn't Respawn all came out in 2014. Man, that makes me feel old. The success of these gems allowed them to end the year with around 1,500,000 subscribers. Additionally, TNT's machinimas grew in scope, especially the few two-parters he uploaded. Unlike TNT's other skits, which were random, these videos followed story arcs. He'd posted one of these the previous year, but made three in 2014. My favorite was If Notch and Exploding TNT Switch Places Part 1 and 2. In these, TNT and Notch traded jobs. Notch would be a Minecraft YouTuber, and TNT would run Mojang. Part 1 showed Notch's perspective, and Part 2 showed TNT's point of view. These skits were fun, creative, and a nice detour from his usual content which fans adored. It's a shame he didn't make more of these. However, the following year, 2015, was one for the ages. This year was when Pink Sheep's popularity increased and TNT got to try new things thanks to his prevalence as a Minecraft creator. While Pink Sheep appeared in a few 2014 videos, it wasn't until 2015 that the character became an essential part of the videos. Throughout the year, he grew his signature mustache, got a new text-to-speech voice, good work ugly face underscore villager 97 started wearing MLG glasses, and established himself as a prankster gangster. He also had two separate merch drops and an entire video surrounding him titled If Pink Sheep Had a Baby. Keep this one in mind because it'll be relevant later. Aside from this, he made frequent appearances in the Machinimas and played a significant role in the Lost Island series. Speaking of which, this is the perfect time to discuss TNT's first ever episodic series. While he had made two-parters before, this was his first time tackling a project like this, and he executed it beautifully. Lost Island followed the tale of TNT, Notch, Herobrine, TNT's friend Failboat, and Pink Sheep on a vacation gone wrong. Across the five episodes, they got into a plane crash which left them stranded on a remote island. Once on the island, they noticed that something was off and worked to unravel the mystery until they managed to get rescued. However, this rescue didn't go according to plan as the helicopter blew up and they were now abandoned at sea. That's where the series ended in the fifth episode. It was a massive cliffhanger and fans were craving a second season given how much they loved this first one. Unfortunately, that was nothing more than a pipe dream as the second season was never released. I may be devastated, but at least I have my exploding TNT 2 Heroes action figure to comfort me. God, I'm so good at segues. Sometime in 2015, Jazzwares, a Florida-based toy company, reached out to TNT and other Minecraft YouTubers with an irresistible offer. They wanted to create the Tube Heroes toy line based on different Minecraft creators, with TNT said to be one of many. He happily accepted the proposal, and two toys were released in July. TNT uploaded a wonderfully made stop motion animation to promote a plush and an action figure. Sadly, I didn't own either of these. Instead, I own the Captain Sparkles toy. I know, I'm a fake fan. He posted two more of these animations during the year to advertise the toys, but unfortunately, I'm not sure how well these sold. However, 
Two Heroes dropped another TNT toy in the form of a mystery figure months later. Additionally, they developed a mobile kart racer for iOS devices which featured TNT as one of the playable characters. It had awful reviews in the small player base, and it was the last thing Jazzwares made that included TNT as the company discontinued the brand sometime in 2017. Regardless, 2015 was a tremendous year for TNT, and 2016 was no different. Over this year, Pink Sheep earned themselves the title of TNT's most important character, had a son, and created a YouTube channel. Yes, you heard me right, he became a father. By this point, Pink Sheep often appeared in the videos and was cherished like no other character. Not even here Brian was as liked as the woolly mammal. However, given his immense popularity, TNT felt he had to add another animal like Pink Sheep to the content, and this is when he came up with a brilliant idea. On February 20th, TNT made history when he uploaded If the Dragon Egg Hatched in Minecraft Part 2, where another legend was born. His name was Purple Shep, and he was the son of Pink Sheep and the Ender Dragon. Don't ask me how that happened, I'm as confused as you are. Hello Pink Sheep Daddy, my name is Purple Shep. Purple Shep had a text-to-speech voice and a fabulous mustache like his daddy. But aside from a different wool color, the main difference between the two was that Purple Shep had a deformed face. Jeez, he's an ugly one to look at. Get him off the screen before you make the viewers sick. Nonetheless, Pink Sheep had some exciting news to share with us two months after the birth of Purple Shep. He'd made his very own YouTube channel where he mainly uploaded gaming content. Sometime later, like any good son, Purple Shep wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps. Plus, fans were begging to see the young sheep make his own videos. But at first, Pink Sheep hesitated to allow Purple Shep to create content because of his sheer ugliness. However, Purple Shep gave his father a bag of Doritos, and that was all it took to convince him to let his son make a channel. On June 1st, Purple Shep launched his YouTube career and mostly posted gaming videos like his father. Within a few months, both sheep had hundreds of thousands of subscribers and consistently uploaded content that viewed viewers enjoyed. But unfortunately, despite their loyal fan bases, both eventually stopped uploading. We'll touch more on their departures later. As for TNT, not much changed in 2016 as he continued making machinimas and growing his channel. It wasn't until the following year, 2017, that TNT shook things up. Unexpectedly, TNT returned to his roots and began making explosion videos again. However, this time around, he executed them differently. At first, TNT started small with videos videos like 10,000 TNT vs 1,000 Creepers or 50,000 TNT vs 500 Iron Golems, until it grew to hundreds of thousands or even a million TNT blocks. In some instances, he used nuke mods. As you can expect, these caused much more destruction than vanilla TNT. More importantly, each featured a bet between Pink Sheep and TNT where the loser would typically have to leave an embarrassing comment on the winner's video or face some other kind of punishment, like changing your profile picture to something that looks awkward. Unfortunately, TNT lost most of these bets and had to post many comments on Pink Sheep's content. The most awkward one was, I have to tell everyone something very important. I had a dream about Pink Sheep last night. In my dream, I kissed him because I was finally brave enough to tell him the truth. I love him or it. I can only imagine how ashamed TNT felt while typing those words. But despite the infinite amount of L's TNT took in these videos, he took a huge W towards the end of the year. On September 26, Second, TNT uploaded a video announcing he released a book called Exploding TNT vs Everything. A description of its story reads, One of Minecraft's biggest heroes is about to embark on the quest of a lifetime. Exploding TNT is one of the most exciting characters in the Minecraft universe, and he's about to have his biggest adventure yet. Exploding TNT, Failboat, Purple Shep, and Pink Sheep are all here in this exciting adventure for the ages, which their millions of fans are sure to love. When some villagers have a dire problem, it looks like Exploding TNT is the man for the job. He arrives to save the day by blowing things up. But when his explosions reveal a hidden minecart and minecart track that may have surprising and ominous implications, and when Crystal Sheep, that's Pink Sheep's girlfriend, after he broke up with the Ender Dragon, mysteriously goes missing, Exploding TNT realizes that more may be at work than meets the eye. What follows is an epic adventure filled with old friends, new friends, tricky puzzles, and exciting challenges. As further mysteries reveal themselves, it becomes clear that Exploding TNT will have to draw on his skill, talent, and unique sense of humor in order to save the day. Like the Tube Heroes toy, I never owned this book, especially since it came out when 
when I was 15 and had already grown out of TNT's content. I'm unsure how well it sold, but it has 89 reviews and a 4.6 rating on Amazon, so people must have liked it. TNT promoted the book in a few videos, but sadly, it seems most of his community was either unaware of the product or uninterested in purchasing it. Regardless, publishing a book is still a massive achievement, and TNT should be immensely proud of himself. Sometime after the book's launch, TNT cooked up another project. It was a series similar to Lost Island titled Lost in Space, and when the trailer dropped, fans were immediately sold. It looked phenomenal and seemed like a tremendous improvement from the previous series. Everyone was excited to see the first episode, and viewers were blown away when it came out only a few days later. TNT had exceeded their expectations, and the story had the audience hooked. In this pilot, Notch selects Pink Sheep, Failboat, and Exploding TNT for a secret mission in outer space to deal with an unknown threat that may destroy the world. The video ends with Notch handing our heroes guns and telling them their journey begins in three days. It's disappointing to say, but this was the first and only episode of Lost in Space, as TNT ditched the series for uncertain reasons, despite how well received it was. People are still eagerly waiting for the second episode to this day, even though it'll likely never come. However, after this video, TNT uploaded a Q&A where he made intriguing promises that fans wouldn't easily forget. At this point, TNT had over 4,380,000 subscribers and had cemented his place as one of Minecraft's greatest content creators while being completely anonymous. He had never used his voice or shown his face in a single video, but in this Q&A, he promised to reveal his voice at 5 million subscribers and his face at 10 million. These statements had the public on the edge of their seats, and now it was just a matter of getting TNT to those milestones. 5 million subs would come in due time, but unfortunately, he'd never reach 10 million. Soon after these legends, their announcements, 2017 ended, and it was another banger year for TNT. 2018 was mostly the same, with some exceptions like the creation of his Fortnite channel, which he eventually handed off to a friend. But generally speaking, the content on Exploding TNT remained the same throughout the year. However, in 2019, TNT experienced the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. During this year, TNT slightly changed up his machinimas by trying different formats while continuing to make the usual skits he was known for, but there was one video in particular that fans had been waiting ages to see, the voice reveal. After years of anonymity, viewers were finally going to hear TNT's voice for the first time, and soon after hitting 5 million subscribers, he released the highly awaited video on April 20th. This reveal was as exciting as Dream's face reveal, and I can only imagine how neat it must have been to watch this video when it dropped. However, unlike Dream's face, TNT's voice wasn't endlessly ridiculed, as the reveal's reception was overwhelmingly positive. It received over 176,000 likes and tens of thousands of supportive comments. Although, following its release, TNT didn't use his voice much in his content throughout 2019. Regardless, this was a monumental accomplishment for him and it seemed like things would only go up from here. But sadly, not all was well behind the scenes. His channel and videos suffered from monetization issues, which he regularly complained about on Twitter during the first few months of 2019. Additionally, MC Origins shut down in June due to a sharp decline in players over the years. As it turns out, the server had been struggling financially for a while before its discontinuation, and because of these issues, they began closing game modes. Naturally, these closures caused players to leave MC Origins, and it's a shame that the beloved server ended like this, despite their best attempts to keep it active throughout the years. As for TNT's other server, the Nova, it seems like it shut down a year or two before MC Origins, although it's uncertain when exactly and why this one closed. Oh, and Purple Shep stopped uploading this year, but screw him, he was ugly and liked toasters. But regardless of the difficulties he faced, TNT continued making machinimas for all of 2019 until 2020. As we all know, this year was terrible, and it only got worse when TNT uploaded a video where he announced he'd be taking an indefinite hiatus from content creation, as he felt burnt out and mentally drained. But I've been thinking about it for a while now, like I've been making these Minecraft machinima videos for eight or nine years straight now so you can imagine how tiring even like mentally it gets really tiring to do the same thing over and over again for that long 
However, he had earned the right to take time off after tirelessly making videos every week for years straight, so fans understood and respected his decision. He also showed interest in trying new content formats once he returned to YouTube. But I also want to try out new things like I don't really know yet, I, I kind of want to think about it and decide what to do. Viewers eagerly awaited his comeback throughout 2020, but unfortunately, aside from tweets and pictures on his dog's Instagram, he wouldn't upload again until February 2021, over a year after he left. In his return video, TNT apologized for his long absence and thanked those who stuck around. I know, I know, I know, I took way too long on my break. But I'm finally back. First of all, if you're watching right now, thank you because that means you remember who I am. More importantly, he said his upload schedule would be sporadic as he figured out what content to make. Also, just a warning, I probably won't be that consistent with uploading yet while I try to figure out what I want to do and everything. Sadly, this was the case, and it became rare to see a new exploding TNT video come out. He posted four hardcore survival videos with commentary, one explosion video, and four of his usual skits, then left once again, and hasn't returned since. However, this departure was different from the last in a devastating way. TNT didn't say goodbye to his audience after uploading his final video in October 2021, and it seems like we'll never get one since it's been over two years. Reading the thousands of comments on this video paying tribute to TNT is equally heartbreaking and comforting. On the one hand, there's a lingering sadness because chances are we'll never see a new exploding TNT video again, and on the other, it's nice to know that this GOAT made so many people's childhood special. However, considering that TNT's channel was declining and he was dealing with health issues, it makes sense why he left. His views weren't the same as before and he consistently lost subscribers. To make matters worse, apart from mental exhaustion, he was suffering from what seemed to be a physical health affliction. I wish him the best and hope he's doing well. But with the endless hours of entertainment he provided us when we were young, he deserves nothing more than a happy retirement in the I give up hole. While many of us would like him to return for a last oorah for the sake of closure, it's best to let TNT move on with his life. We should be eternally grateful for all the laughter and joy he brought into our lives. At the end of the day, he fulfilled his purpose and gracefully took his leave along with Pink Sheep, who left in early 2023. Although, it's worth mentioning he's still semi-active on Twitter and was featured in YouTube's favorite creators of 2022 tweets, among other kings like Mr. Beast and Dan TDM, despite not uploading a single video that year. That alone should solidify TNT's status as one of Minecraft's greatest legends and prove that as long as we keep his legacy alive, he'll never truly be gone or forgotten. Thank you for everything, TNT. The memories you gave us will forever hold a special place in our hearts.